Hi everyone, it's Carrie with my friends Call Me Martha, and yes, I got that nickname of Martha because of Martha Stewart and um, how much I like to craft and spend time in the kitchen. Um, so today I'm actually here in South Carolina in our home away from home, and I have made a makeshift craft space for today. The kids are off with my husband at the water park, and I am enjoying some quiet time with the dog. Um, so I thought I would come on and make a quick video for you guys. Um, and I'm using two products today from the annual catalog, and it's the Texture Chic um, suite of products. And there is the Memories and More card pack, and then there is the um, cards and envelopes. So the cards and envelopes, there's 20 of them, and you can see they're gold foiled. Um, and they have the pretty um, design even on the inside. So for 20 cards and envelopes, it's $12 and then it's $10 for this card pack. So it's a great value. Um, you can make at least 20 cards, if not more with all of this stuff. Um, and then this stuff is actually great if you're a scrapbooker. There's even, um, so there's great sentiments here if you want to use for card fronts, but then there's also some of the cards have, um, like they're all double-sided so you have to kind of pick your favorites which i hate doing because i usually like both sides of everything that uh stampin up does but it has some journaling um pieces for you um that make it very easy to scrapbook um so i am excited about this grouping of products and um they have the different seasons so you'll see some of them have snowflakes some of them has seashells flowers and then fall leaves so it's kind of great for all year long i love this snowflake one i think that is so pretty um and then it even has these bigger cards and then it has um elements that are stickers so there's even um some banner pieces for you and some little um design elements some of these here would just make a great card front as they are, and then others I saw I might actually um, cut to make a little bit smaller. Like this one here, I probably would cut the square out and then use these chunks of um, paper for design pieces. Um, and then the back of that C is so great. So it is really gonna be hard to kind of decide which sides to use. Um, I do need a birthday card for my husband, so I'm gonna try to do something um, more masculine. I did also just grab some ribbon um, when I was packing the night before. I was like, I need some craft projects to bring with me. Um, although I must say I have, I already read one book in three days, which this is the one time a year that I read books. Um, and then I did bring um, also some um, accents. So I think I'm gonna use this. There was not really a saying that was birthday specific, although loving this life of ours. Um, although there have been times this week where we're like, if we could run away, we would. Um, our place is fairly small, so we're all kind of like on top of one another. Um, so that's why I very much was like, I'm taking, um, why don't you take the kids to the water park and I'm gonna stay here. I don't really do the water rides. Um, I go around the lazy river, but I'm like, we got like a season pass cause it was cheaper. That way when we're here for two weeks, we could kind of go as much as we want, but we found out they are closed um, weekdays next week because um, it's not really a busy time of year down here and all the local people, their kids have gone back to school. So we're gonna, go today and tomorrow to the water park i will join them tomorrow um all right so best day ever and i feel like i want um some sort of something around it hmm. so if you do like this um color palette if you like kind of the way the texture and everything is in this suite there is um, a stamp set and dies and then some designer series paper that goes with the bundles and I'm kind of wishing I brought some of the paper but this is going to be challenging for myself and you know what because it's my husband I know he would like really also appreciate a really fancy card. I am gonna keep his simple. Although, wait, hold on, let's just double check. Make your dreams here for you, you're on my mind. 
You know what? Maybe I'm going to use this little piece. So, just to kind of give it a little bit of a fun element, because it kind of all blends together. And then I'm just going to add some of the little um, rustic dots. And I brought my Take Your Pick tool. It's one of my favorites. Um, it has the putty end. Oh, look at a little sequin. And like I said, for design elements like this, I usually do them in like groupings of three. So again, I'm hoping that it's kind of fairly simple and the boys and I can write a little message inside. And birthday card number one done all right let's see what we got next oh I like the thinking of you um, this, these two are cute so let's work with these and these cards are already scored for you so really it like in no time you could make a ton of cards or if you're traveling and want kind of a little project for yourself, this is great. I wish I had brought dimensionals. I didn't bring my dimensionals because then I could add a little bit of height. And then this one, I do think I'm gonna add a little piece of ribbon. tonight I think we're gonna go out to dinner um, I've been trying to cook at home and then go out every other night so we alternate because um, it's just so darn expensive to eat out even down here gas is a lot cheaper we're from Massachusetts for those of you who may be joining from somewhere else um, so gas is a lot cheaper down here it was only like three dollars and 38 cents and I know at home before we left I paid like four dollars and like 29 cents so that's been a huge savings although along the highway they kind of charge a lot because they know you have to stop <laughs> okay and I got glue all over my paper scissors here I kind of need a glue dot so again it's hard to sometimes do this because I don't have all of my normal things with me and then let's go with There's also some metallic, brushed metallic paper that looks really good with this, so I might have to make a few more of these cards once I actually go home and show you guys. So these are the opal rounds. I just love them. I think they're so pretty with a little iridescent. So there we go, another card. And we're going to do a thinking of you. Oh, I just found dimensionals. It's my lucky day. I thought I had some. I did remember some things. So here I'm just pulling out my paper trimmer. And, and sorry, I know this isn't like centered or anything, but it's kind of like the best I could do on a round table. Would also be nice if I had my, so many things. I just wish I could like bring my whole craft room here. <laughs> oh, but it doesn't fit in the car. 
Well, it would fit in the car if I didn't have to bring like people with me. I'm just gonna trim that off a little bit more. And then even these little side pieces, I am gonna save. I will use them for something. Oh, I gotta just go a hair, get rid of that dark edge. Okay. Now I think I am going to I'm gonna save the congratulations. I'm just going to do another knot. You know what? Let's actually do a bow. So again, if you had like linen thread would look great with this. Um, really, it's it's just, I like the colors because they're soft and fairly neutral. Um, so there's a lot you can do with it. Ugh, I'm going to have to order new scissors. Not cutting the best. And then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap a piece of ribbon around here. I like to do this because it saves ribbon. Instead of having to go all the way around. And then with this, I'm gonna raise it up with dimensionals. And with dimensionals, I know some people like to put a whole lot. Um, I kind of like to put one in the middle just to kind of give it reinforcement, especially if it's card that's going to go through the mail. Okay. And then I don't have glue dots, so I'm actually going to use liquid glue to put my bow on. Oops, I don't know if this is gonna be strong enough. So I'm gonna to have to let this sit and I think if it dries, um, but I can't put it up right. That was, all right, and let's make one more. Let's do, oh, this is cute because it matches the um, envelopes. Um, so I'm going to do this one vertical. That looks pretty cute. So I'm going to do the flowers right there, close to the edge. And then I'm going to raise this one up. I think I'm going to do a little bit of the lace or the scallop lace trim is what this was called. I'm really hoping that um, Stampin' Up refreshes the clearance rack and some of these retired ribbons come back at a much less price. <laughs> That's when I love to stock up on ribbon because I always can use ribbon for um, prizes for like when I do my events with my stampers. Um, okay, so I kind of got that on there and then I'm going to use dimensionals. Yeah, I 
also like to buy paper, which you all know I have a hoarding problem when it comes to paper, but it's all good. Oh. Evie, quiet. <sighs> Evie, come. Sorry about that, guys. Not much different from then when I'm home <laughs> trying to do videos. And again, I'm adding the opal rounds. So just again, very soft and very subtle. But I love this because it's going to match our envelope. Look how cute that is together. Oh, I just love it. So anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I am slowly, slowly, slowly gaining momentum. And I'm super excited because... It's kind of neat when you see that thousands of people have watched one of your videos. Um, so again, if you could like and subscribe, um, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you all. Thank you. Take care.